Hi everyone, I hope everybody's doing great. So I've been seeing these press for shampoo signs all over SD and I just adore them. So I decided to give it a whirl and make one myself, except I'm doing mine with a little twist. I'm making a press for Tiffany's frame art. My inspiration came from my sister. She loves Tiffany's jewelry, the accessories, and of course the color. So I'm making this one for her because she's the most giving and loving person that I know. So I wanted to give her something that was personal, that it was from me, handmade, because she appreciates things like that. So I wanted to give her this beautiful Tiffany, press for Tiffany sign that I, that I know she'll love. So here are some of the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need a doorbell from your local hardware store. I got mine from Home Depot. You're gonna need a picture frame of your choice, spray paint, cardstock, scissors, 3D foam squares, and of course, Savorsky crystals. And I'll show you what I'm going to be doing with those crystals in a bit. And here is my doorbell. And as you can see, I have it already taped off with some blue tape on the button to protect it from the spray, the spray paint that I'm going to be adding to the doorbell. Now, the reason why I'm spray painting it a metallic finish is I want it to kind of match the frame. And I'm also going to be adding those beautiful crystals that I showed you earlier around the doorbell. And right now I'm just hitting it with a few coats of spray paint. And let me show you what I'm going to be doing next. While my doorbell is drying, I had played with some fonts on my computer and I came up with my press for Tiffany sign. Perfect! So after printing off what I'm going to be putting inside the frame, I took the template that came with the frame and I'm going to be tracing it onto the cardstock where I had printed my paper. Now the reason why I'm using cardstock is because it's very durable, it's a little more fancier, it's just easy to work with, that's just my opinion though. So I'm going to trace it out and after I finish tracing it out, I'm going to cut it out and place it inside the frame. So here I have some Savorsky crystals. They're optional. I got them from Joann's for they were regular price nine bucks, but I only paid half that on top of a 10% discount from the military and I'm going to use it to embellish the doorbell. So right now I'm adding Elmer's glue to adhere the crystals to the doorbell. I like using Elmer's glue because it dries clear. And as you can see, I have three sizes of these crystals, large, medium, and small. I added these smaller ones on the bottom layer. I'm adding right now the medium ones on top. And the large ones I use to cover the hole where you would normally screw the doorbell to a wall. And it was just that simple. I think using these crystals are appropriate for what I'm doing for this frame. And I just love it a lot. Okay, so I'm getting ready to add my 3D foam squares onto the bottom of the bell. Now I only use two foam squares just to make sure that it's high enough this way I can press it onto the frame and it worked out pretty good. So all you do is peel it and stick and it will stay on there pretty good. Now I didn't do such a good job of positioning it the way I wanted to but I'm going to take it off and do it over again. But there you have it, your press for Tiffany's frame. <music> 